We're just like looking at what's ahead of us. I don't know if you guys can see it through the window. It's a tree. I think it's just part of life in the woods. Trees yeah. fall and you Yeah, we're just not like dressed to get <laughs> out of the car. And Look at those outdoor shoes. <laughs> and cut that tree down, so mm -hmm. lots of change. It's pouring rain too. Yeah. It's Saturday morning and um, we literally came home. We came to camp last night and just didn't do anything because it was rainy. But Alex showed me this amazing setup. Well, there's a tent back there. <laughs> and there's a tarp up here. And there's a truck back there behind uh, you guys. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's cool. It has like the tarp on uh, the tarp. And then what you can do with that is actually pull a line in the middle of the tarp. And I don't know if you can see, but there, we have our towels that are like drying there. And we had like our raincoat drying as well, so it's it's cool. We were able to cook under here, make a delicious meal. Mm -hmm. uh, Macaroni and sausage and mushrooms. Yeah. If you're interested. It was very good. Uh, and then today we have all day to finish our path to the lake with the bush saw. And then we might even start the uh, west path over here. Oh. We're on the west path, <laughs> all the way to the pond. Um, we'll see how it goes, but we only have two tanks of fuel, so we might need to go back and touch Our conversation yesterday, I wonder what they think. Well, okay. When you're living in low comfort, like small little improvements make a world of a difference. Mm -hmm. But when you're like living fairly comfortably, um, little improvements are almost like dispensable. Mm -hmm. like, they, they don't add that much. Mm -hmm. You need like a lot, a lot of a little improvements that make a difference. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Because out here, <laughs> out here, like literally just putting up a tarp, having like a place to like be safe mm -hmm. while being outside is like a world of improvement. So just being able to bring the truck near our campsite is like a world of improvement. Mm -hmm. We can actually have legit food. Mm -hmm. um, like being able to like cook mushrooms and sausages and macaronis and cheese, mm -hmm. that was like impossible before, so. No, very difficult, mm -hmm. I agree. But there's certain things that we definitely, I don't think were feasible at all. Like we wouldn't have been able to bring the brush cutter no. and the chainsaw. No. And a tank of gas, and all of our gear, and sausages, mm. and mushrooms. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm, this wasn't possible. Mm -hmm. You guys can see we've been clearing some trail behind us and we've been doing it with a brand new Echo PAS 225. Yeah. So this baby got the brush cutter blade on it which has been amazing and it's been doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you think? You yeah, happy? Oh, it's good. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. Better, better than the rental piece of junk that we got before.
looking at the road situation here, looks like it's pretty rough. Like we don't actually know a few sections, you know, what we're gonna be able to do about them. So we're gonna maybe need to do a bit more exploring, but at least we've got a trail clear. We can hike it, it's a lot easier now. Right now we're on the westerly most part of our property and we're about to head up to the lake. So we'll get to hang out there for a bit. Right now, we are standing on a potential site for our future cabin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the closest to the lake f and still be on our property, so. Mm -hmm. That's reasonable. But it's kind of crazy, like there's literally no path that comes here, so. Yeah, that way is the lake. I'm sure you guys can't see anything through there, but trust me, there's a lake over there. Yeah. And then behind us, is where we came through. So, um. Yeah. It's, uh, it's rough. Yeah. But then now it's lunchtime, so. Let's go to the lake and eat some food. Mm hmm. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're driving through right now. And uh, it is the end of October. It is snowing like freaking crazy here. It's impacting the truck just a little bit. It's, uh, it was a struggle. It was a struggle to get the heck out of here. We're on our way. <laughs> 